Thank you. I'll tell you. Well, sir, did I, young lady? With the almost red hair? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I like being called young lady. Um, since I only have a you know, short period of time in between sessions that I can make six o'clock meetings, because both of us that work in the city have a hard time getting out at six o'clock. What's your name and address for coming back to the <laughs> The Wicked Witch of 193 North Ocean Avenue. <laughs> Um, How's you doing? My daughter's very good, thank you. Um, not wicked. Um, 2008, um, the Village Board set up uh, a DRZ to usher in the uh, Tri-Tech project, now the new village. Um, I think maybe it's time to go back and revisit that DRZ. Um, currently, it is my opinion that keeping that DRZ the way it's set up, we are giving any tenants of new village an unfair advantage. They do not have to come before the ARB, before any of the other village boards for permission. So there are things that possibly the zoning board, the planning board, the ARB might not approve, will get approved, will be allowed to happen, which will give one set of merchants a different set of rules than the other set of merchants. Um, and that just seems to me not fair. So I understand why it was set up, but maybe we don't need it anymore, or we can go back and revisit some of the um, rules of it. Okay. Um, and last but not least, yes, traffic was wonderful, but the tour bus took up how many places in the parking lot? Can't help it. I couldn't get my pizza. <laughs> I couldn't get my pizza. It was not pretty in the Kastner household because I could not go to Del Fiore Pizza. You apologize. I, I the think they said the tour bus could park. We, we could get a limo to run them from the outer boroughs into. into I know, the I theater. saw it, I saw it. And I mean, in all honesty, there were a lot of people that were not happy about that. Yeah, we will rethink the tour bus location. You know, I, I think that, you know, once again, we'll get a limo. I'll, we'll drive them back and forth so that we've got a parking situation. Yeah. yeah, we very rarely have to. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen yeah. it, but it just it took up a lot of spaces yeah. in an evening that you yeah. know, and those are the those are the quickie spaces, the yeah. the in and out spaces, not the long term parking spaces. So those of us that want to run somewhere in the village yeah. for a meal, you know, just pick up takeout. See, we're one of, one of the issues is Mary is that when the tour buses when the, when the acts get off the stage, they basically go to the tour bus, okay, and they leave. They don't hang around. And with the people leaving the theater and the traffic, to get the tour bus in and out of that area is very difficult. So that's why they need to park it there. We do it with the school buses. When the school buses come in anymore, we have them park someplace else. But I, I'll mention it to the theater. We can build one of those spot. tunnels like Jones Beach has, so that we can you know, have the axe go down underneath the tunnel and get on it. And that was a big bus. bus. Yeah, that was a very big bus. Yeah, that, 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 took up, that took up nine spaces. Yeah, I know. Like, that took up the entire, the entire feet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. sideline. So. And I think that's all the complaints that I have for the evening. He showed it on the screen, didn't he? Yeah.